Tom was just talking about all that flooding in Brevard County. We're getting some pretty incredible pictures from viewers who live there. Yeah, News 6 meteorologist Candace Campos joins us live in the newsroom with a look at this. Candace? Yeah, well, the pictures have been just coming in, or I should say flooding in. I don't mean that as a pun, but you have been seeing a lot of pictures of all these cars just about to get into the streets. They've seen over three, almost three and a half inches in some spots, especially out in Palm Bay. You can see this one where you can see how far the water is coming up towards some of these mailboxes on one of the residential roadways. And we even have this video that someone sent us gives us a really good idea of how much water, and this is very dangerous when you start thinking about how much rain is starting to accumulate on some of these residential roads. This is a good reminder that only about six inches of water could float your car. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, even though only about three inches have fallen. Some places tend to pond up even further. So driving in it, don't drive through flooded waters. That's a big no-no throughout the, no matter where you are here in Central Florida, because we are going to be getting more of these very tropical-like downpours that will be dumping a lot of rain in a very short amount of time. So if you are out, though, in the Brevard area and you have some great flood pictures, just make sure to send them our way. But please, please do it safely. Guys. Yeah, right. thank you, Candace. I'd like to say, turn around, don't drown. And when these summer storms do move in, you can get the latest weather information and a live look at our new six radar directly on your phone. All you have to do is download our free app by searching WKMG in your app store.